You can imagine how rapidly the dim and for budget smartwatches is increasing. Just recently, the U.S. smartwatch market experienced a 121-year-on-year -year growth fueled primarily by budget offerings. To no one's surprise, this segment is dominated by players such as Bolt Noise and Fire Bolts, which take up around 90% off the market ship, and it's not like other brands haven't tried, but they don't have the same kind of appeal. Okay, let me start this review by talking about the design first. This time Xiaomi has gone with a curved finish, which looks way better than last year's Watch 2 Lite's generic square doff look. In my opinion, the build is still mostly plastic, but Xiaomi has added shiny metal coating on the frame to give this a more premium look. Likewise, something that has changed for the better this year is the strap design. Xiaomi has finally switched to a universal strap design, giving you a lot more options to get yourself any aftermarket strap. If you don't prefer the default one now, this does not mean that the default straps are bad or anything. It's soft, it's comfortable, and it has not caused any kind of irritation in my usage. But it's always good to have options, isn't it? On the durability side, the Watch 3 Active has a 5 EDM rating, so you don't have to worry about taking it to the pool or shower. There is even a clear mode that helps get residual out of the speaker and microphone with sound and vibration. So that is nice as well. Overall, I feel like Xiaomi has really improved its design this year. Even though this is a budget smartwatch, it does not feel cheap. It is well built and quite nice overall. The only thing I wish was better here, at least in terms of the looks, are these large bezels around the display. They are not evident when you use dark wallpapers, but anything lighter will definitely make it look a bit ugly. Talking about the display, it's a 1.83 inches AMOLED screen with a 60 Hz refresh rate. This is definitely a good screen to look at and interact with, but I felt like it's not as good as Xiaomi paints it out to be, for instance. The colors here, in my opinion, are better than what we usually get on budget smartwatches. But I've had a hard time believing that it's a 16-bit display. It just does not have that kind of depth. And even though Xiaomi says it's a 60 Hz panel, I've experienced the transitions between different cards to be a bit choppy. I don't know if this is because of an unoptimized refresh rate or heavy animations, but a little sluggishness here and there is definitely noticeable. The Watch 3 Active is bright enough for both indoor and outdoor usage, but I'm not a big fan of adjusting the brightness levels time and again, especially before going to bed. If not for auto brightness adjustment, I think Xiaomi could have given a handy side bar to adjust the brightness levels more conveniently. The watch also has 100 plus sports modes out of which 10 are professional modes. There is no built-in GPS, but it can access the one on your smartphone without much hassle. So everybody, this was my review of the Redmi Watch 3 Active. I will be coming up with more budget smartwatch videos pretty soon. So do support us by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon.